Rich Eisen show to you and then to you, Rob Reiner. Thanks for coming back. Thanks here. for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Very important yeah. film that's going on right now on DirecTV Cinema and then in theaters near you on July 13th. Shock and awe about the Knight Ritter newspaper men and women. Right. Um, who put together uh, some pieces that nobody else was putting together back yeah. in 2000. Yeah, right? it, it was, uh, they were unsung. I mean, they figured out, it's all about the run-up to the war in Iraq, and they figured out uh, that the Bush administration was basically selling a bill of goods, and they debunked it all, but they could never break through. And the reason I, I wanted to make the movie is, first, I didn't think that we would go in my lifetime, twice to war mm -hmm. based on lies in Vietnam and, and, and now. But the other thing is that it shows the importance. Right now, the press is under attack mm -hmm. in this country. You know, they've been called the enemy of the people, fake news and all that stuff. And the press is, if we're going to survive, you know, as a democracy, we're going to need a free and independent press, which we talk about at the beginning of the movie, to be strong. And right now they're struggling against some major, major headwinds. Well, and you are directing it and also acting in it role of John Walcott, who was the Knight Ritter uh, DC bureau chief at right. the time. Is it true you had uh, the actual correspondence on the set? Yes. they—they they, uh, All four journalists that uh, are depicted in the movie, they worked with us on the script. They were very closely involved in every every draft. And they were on the, on the set when we were shooting. As a matter of fact, that scene, mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have that speech I in the movie. And one of the journalists, John Jonathan Landy, played by Woody Harrelson, he comes up and he says, you know, you should put John Walcott's speech. This is what he said to us when we were huh. doubting whether or not we were getting it right. And we wrote it down and we put it right in the movie. And it's the most, to me, it's the key line of the movie, which is, you know, when the government says something, you only have one question. Is it true? And that's really the job of all journalists. Shock and awe in uh, theaters near you, July 13th. Shock and awe. Yeah. Why did you decide to undertake this film? Rob. Well, I, I I wanted to do it right from the time of the invasion, uh, in 2003, because I couldn't believe that this was happening. And there's a line in the movie where uh, James Marsden plays a character. He says, it's like watching your kid run into the street and feeling helpless to save him from being hit by the truck. And that's what I felt like when we were marching towards war in Iraq. I said, what is this? We're not, it wasn't, Saddam Hussein had nothing to do with Al-Qaeda. There was no uh, evidence of weapons of mass destruction. They were just selling us a line. So I tried it once as a satire, you know, I tried to do it like a, a Dr. Strangelove and it didn't quite work. I tried it again with a, you know, to write a script with a, as a dramatic thing, didn't work. And then I saw this documentary by Bill Moyers about these four journalists mm -hmm. and how they really did the, did, they, they did the work and they got it all right. And I said, okay, that's the way into this story. Because they were the Knight Ritter publication. They were for Knight Ritter News and they, uh, they debunked it all. The problem they had was, first of all, 9-11 had happened. People were swept up in, mm -hmm. uh, you know, patriotism, and nobody wanted to felt, felt comfortable going against the administration. And secondly, the administration, even if they might have known that they were right, they never responded to their articles. They gave them no oxygen, so it's as if those articles never existed. And you play the, uh, the, the Washington, D.C. bureau chief. Right. Woody Harrelson and James Marsden are um, are the uh, the lead journalists. Tommy Lee Jones. Is Tommy just Lee awesome. Jones is amazing. Have you ever worked with him? Has he never ever been worked in with films? him before? He's an incredible actor, but he's uh, let's say he's taciturn, <laughs> if you know what that word means. He's, yes. He's very laconic. You know, mm -hmm. you don't. He does. He's a man of very few words. Off the set, is and, what you're saying? Uh, yes, and okay. and you know, you try to strike up conversation when there's a lull, and I'd say to him. Uh, so, because he has a, a ranch down in Texas. Yes. And so there's a big lull. And I said, so uh, how many head of cattle do you have? And he goes, you don't want to know that. You're not interested in that. You don't, what are you going to do with that information? You know, that's what he... Okay, thanks. Just trying to <laughs> just trying to keep the ball Roll rolling here. Roll yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, he's in, he's in uh, one of my remote drop movies, uh, which is, um, you know, whenever I'm watching TV... A remote drop. You have several of them for me. Um, for without a doubt, a few good men is a remote drop for which, me. Which is Tommy Lee Jones is a remote the drop. The fugitive. Oh, the fugitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's a remote drop yeah, for you. Yeah. What's Rob Reiner, your remote drop movie, if you... You know, I've, I, there's so many surfing. movies that I love that I can watch over and over again. I mean, I watch Into, It's a Wonderful Life. I watch uh, All the President's Men. I oh, love All oh, the oh. President's Men. I mean, there's so many uh, movies that I that I love, that, you know. Where you're just surfing. It doesn't you know, matter where you pick it up. Yeah. You're going to yeah, watch the, the, the rest The Godfather of it. is, you know, the Godfather is the classic. If you're flipping around and you catch The Godfather, it's... Mm. <laughs> That's it. It's, and you're in. You're in. You're in. It's, even if it's another two and a half hours, yeah. you just got to clear I, 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 Godfather 1 or 2. I pretend that Godfather 3 never happened. <laughs> <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.